I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to solve equations when we have squares on both the sides. So it is a communication and thinking question which we will be answering. Solve the following equations. Part A is x square equals to 7 square and part B is 2x plus 3 whole square equals to x minus 5 whole square. Now to understand how to solve part B, I have taken a very simple example here in part A. And let's discuss how to solve a simple equation such as this. Now we have x square equals to 7 square. What is the value of x? That is what we are interested in finding. Well, on the first side we can say x square equals to 7 square. That means x is equal to 7. Well, that is one solution, but is it a complete solution? That's a question. Is it the right solution? That's the second question. Think about it. Can x be minus 7? Minus 7 square is also 7 square, right? As you know, 7 square is what? 7 square is 49. Now if I square 7, I get 49. If I square minus 7, minus 7 square, that is also 49. So x is actually equal to both plus and minus 7. Now how do we get both these solutions? That is the question. One way is, what we should do is, if we have x square equals to 7 square then x is equal to square root of 7 square right whenever you do square root you have to write plus and minus and so you get two answers plus and minus 7 do you see that so you get two answers that's one way of doing it and that's indeed the correct way of doing it now i'll show you an alternate method of doing the same thing correctly that is, let's bring 7 square to the left side. Now let me use a different ink to solve. So we get x square minus 7 square equals to 0, right? Now if you see from here, if I bring 7 to the left side, I can write this as x square minus 7 square equals to 0. Now this is difference of squares. We can factor x plus 7 times x minus 7 equals to 0. Now this gives us two solutions. Now the solutions clearly are that x equals to minus 7 or plus 7, correct? So we get two solutions. This is the technique which we will be employing to solve polynomials. I hope you understand. If you apply this technique then we get all the possible solutions. And if we do a shortcut that means square root without plus and minus then we land up with incomplete solutions right so that's the whole idea for which i took part a and i hope it makes things very clear and i hope you appreciate it now let us solve our question which is 2x plus 3 whole square equals 2 x minus 5 whole square now should we square root both sides no, we should not. We have seen that gives us a problem, right? So the best way is bringing terms together on one side. So that gives you 2x plus 3 whole square minus x minus 5 whole square equals to 0. And now we can factor this since we know a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b right so we'll factor this a is 2x plus 3 so we can write this as 2x plus 3a plus b b is x minus 5 so plus x minus 5 that is the first term the second is a minus b that is 2x plus 3 minus of this will be minus x plus 5 right you need to reverse the sign equals to 0 now we can combine the like terms we get 3x and 3 minus 5 is minus 2, 2x minus x is x 
3 plus 5 is 8 equals to 0. Now 3x minus 2 equals to 0. We can solve for each, right? Solve for this and the other factor, correct? So when you equate 3x minus 2 equals to 0, you get x equals to 2 over 3. And here x plus 8 equals to 0 gives you x equals to minus 8, right? So we get two solutions, right? So two solutions are x equals to 2 over 3 or minus 8. So these are the two solutions for us, right? So we can write down our answer and that is x is equals to 2 over 3 or minus 8. So that is how we are going to solve equations where we have square terms on both the sides. Remember, do not square root both sides. Then you may miss one of the answers in such cases. Right? So that is the whole idea. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.